Your first starter task is to choose one colour pencil and shade from dark to light. Your second starter task is to choose two coloured pencils and blend them together. The grid method is a common tool in both painting and drawing. It is commonly used to scale small templates to much larger painting or drawing backgrounds. Therefore, it is an integral part of photorealism. The method helps to divide the picture into smaller boxes and thus focusing your attention. Your page is 21 centimeters wide, half of 21 centimeters is 10.5 centimeters. Your A4 page is 29.7 centimeters tall, half of 29.7 centimeters is 14.9 centimeters. Measure 10.5 centimeters on the top and bottom of your paper with a ruler and make a mark. Measure 14.5 centimetres on both sides of your A4 paper with a ruler and make a mark. Connect all the lines together to make a 2x2 two two grid. Now begin drawing your image according to each box in the grid. You're going to draw each section one square at a time. Make sure you use a pencil so that you can easily make adjustments to your drawing. Less defined areas such as a patch of shade or highlight may be roughly indicated too. Carefully erase your guidelines, repairing outlines as you go. If you can't erase the lines 100%, it's okay. As you can see, some of the lines in my drawing are still visible. They will disappear as I blend the colour pencils. Colouring up and down works best to fill most of the largest areas with colour quickly. To create a grade eight, I pressed hard with the pencil and slowly applied less pressure. This meant my purple went from dark to light. To create darker shades of a purple that blended back to its normal shades, I first applied the areas of black. I then put the purple on top of the black. Lighter colour should always be used to blend. To create a purple blue colour, I first applied the purple and went back over it with a blue pencil.
When you want to draw something that looks realistic, you have to understand how to create the illusion of depth. The best way to create this illusion is to use light and shadows. As I was lucky enough to have a grey colouring pencil, I used this instead of a normal drawing pencil. If you do not have a grey colouring pencil, you can use a pencil as an alternative. When you are shading rounded objects, you need to use contour shading. Contour shading is a type that follows the contour of a line or the lines of the shape of your particular image. This form of shading works best when you are working with various types of circular images, such as an apple or an orange. You do not always have to blend black with the color to create a darker shade. In this area, I used a darker brown in the same way I used the black to create a darker shadow 